I don't read ESPN ever. My name is Michelle Reed. If you guys just clicked on this video, this is gonna be such a fun video because I am trying five different CEOs morning routines. Also, excuse the self-tanner hands. I feel like I have to make that disclaimer in every single video. I've been loving doing these videos about trying new things every week. If you guys don't know, in January, I decided that my word for the year is going to be discipline, specifically self-discipline. And so I'm teaching myself how to do just new things, things that I don't like to, things that I'm scared to do, just a lot of different things. And so I love doing these I try videos. I know I'm not the first one to do them. I know that Lucy Fink kind of started this series of five days of trying X. I asked you guys on Instagram what I should try this week and shout out to Sophia for recommending this. I don't know if you guys have seen these articles, but I always see these crazy articles about all these crazy things that CEOs do in the morning, whether it be like waking up at 4 a.m., waking up at 10 a.m. Everyone's so different and I think it's so interesting to see different morning routines. I'm also a huge fan of morning routines. I think having a set schedule in the morning is so important and it really keeps you grounded for the rest of the day. If you guys like this video, you should subscribe and stick around for the next one because I am always trying out new things. And let me know down below what is something I should try in the next one. A little disclaimer, I only wanted to try morning routines that were actually sustainable, so there aren't gonna be any crazy 4 a.m. wake ups. All of these are very early morning routines, but not 4 a.m. It's nothing insane because my goal for this video is really to find a routine that was actually sustainable, which I will let you guys know at the end of this video which one I thought was the best routine for myself personally. This is also CEOs and founders mixed. It's not just CEOs or just founders. The first one was the CEO of Google, Sundar Pichai. We then have Gary Gary V of Vayner Media. Everyone knows Gary V. I did Sarah Blakely of Spanx. I did Emily Weiss of Glossier. And then lastly, Jennifer Fleiss of Rent the Runway slash Jet Black. I'm so excited to try these all out. These were the CEOs and founders that I could find articles about their morning routines. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. So on Monday, I started off with Gary V. And this was one that was pretty basic and pretty similar to my own morning routine. I found an article on Business Insider that I based this on. And the first thing he said is that he always wakes up at 6 a.m. literally every day. It's 6 a.m. so here we are. He then takes his phone into the bathroom and I'm assuming that he meant he does these things while he's going to the bathroom and I'm obviously not gonna post that on YouTube and so he scrolls through Tech Meme, Business Insider, ESPN, and then Twitter and Instagram. So the only one of those that I actually read regularly is Business Insider and I also use Instagram. I don't even have Twitter and I don't read ESPN ever. We're gonna go ahead and read those while we brush our teeth. A lot of this was having to do with managing his own business and his own company and kind of reading tweets about VaynerMedia. And so I just kind of read up on these news articles. I didn't actually read things on my own business because I do YouTube and Instagram. And I will say that I really don't like starting my morning with reading the news. It is probably my least favorite thing to do. If you guys watch my habits video, I talked about how I actually don't really like to scroll through Twitter. I am not a huge fan of Twitter. I get it's really great for reading a lot of information but it never makes me feel very at ease and so i went ahead and did this honestly everything in the news right now has to do with coronavirus we're then gonna work out for 45 minutes to an hour he says the specific workout routine varies depending on the day of the week when i ate how much i've been traveling there's no one big secret gary v workout so i think i'm just gonna go for a run at my gym and then also do some leg workouts i like to do banded leg workouts i'm probably gonna do that <laughs> So it's 6.29 right now and I'm headed to the gym. So far this is pretty much like my normal routine, but I usually do go to the gym like a little bit later. I love morning workouts, so I'm excited for this. I got to the gym by 6.45 and then I left at 7.45. It was an hour long workout, it felt really good. So in this article, there is no mention of coffee or breakfast, but I'm just gonna go ahead. Add cinnamon and nutmeg to your coffee grinds if you make it in a French press and it tastes so good. 
then said he goes ahead and gets ready and he tries to get to work by nine because he said that's when his first meeting usually is. 8.42 and we're headed out. On the way to work, he really prioritizes talking to his family and his friends. And so he'll usually make a call while he's in the car. He said, I just want to learn what they're up to. I really value those small moments. And I really like that. I really like that having those small intimate conversations is really important for him. And I really like starting my day with this. I usually call my family in the evening times, but it was very interesting doing it in the morning and kind of seeing how it shifted my perspective and left me in a very positive mood. We then went into Sarah Blakely's routine of Spanx. Now she didn't have a ton of information on this article. I pulled an article from CNBC, but there were a few key things that she mentioned she does in her morning routine that I wanted to try. She said that she wakes up at 6.30 a.m. which was really nice because I think 6.30 is the perfect time. I usually wake up around 6.45 my own routine, so 6.41 right now. I'm about to do some yoga. I'm probably gonna do like a 25 minute little yoga session. I know I've done yoga with Adrienne before on YouTube. She does like yoga flow videos. And I'm probably just gonna do like a stretch one and like a strength one. It's actually such a pretty day. I can like hear the birds chirping outside. It feels very peaceful. Now, personally, I'm not a huge yoga person and I'm definitely more of a yoga person in the evening because it helps me wind down. I don't find that doing yoga in the morning really makes me feel energized. I'd rather go for a run or do some cardio, do some weights, something that's really gonna get my heart rate up rather than doing yoga, which is more focused on like strength and balance. But I will say it was relaxing. It was a nice way to start my morning and I did feel just very content. Now she did say that every single morning she drinks the same smoothie. She actually said she prefers to make it in a smoothie bowl form and it has frozen wild blueberries, a few dark cherries, kale, dates, cinnamon, spinach, cilantro, fresh mint, lemon, water, ice, chia, and walnuts. Now, I didn't actually have cilantro. I went to find some in the grocery store and seriously couldn't find any. And so I just skipped that, but I did the rest of the smoothie. Literally blending this on the floor in our living room because Rose is asleep and I don't wanna wake her up. She says it's thick and I eat it like ice cream, so it makes me feel like I'm having dessert. And I actually really like this. I'm not a huge fan of having smoothies in the morning as my breakfast. My water's currently boiling for my tea, but I'm about to Take a sip of the smoothie. It's actually not bad. I think that the mint makes it taste very good. I've never had a smoothie that has mint in it. It's very like refreshing and I can taste the walnuts. I feel like if it had cilantro in it, it'd probably taste a lot worse. I usually like to do avocado toast, banana pancake, something that has a little bit of protein because I feel like that really starts me off on a good foot for the rest of the day. But I guess the walnuts added protein, which is good. But it really wasn't that bad. It sounded a lot worse whenever I was reading the ingredients. And the hardest thing was she does not have coffee. She's never had a cup of coffee when starting Spanx is not a coffee fan and she prefers green tea and I am the biggest coffee fan and so starting my morning with green tea is not ideal. This is truly so sad. Bottoms up. But it's good for me because I am someone who's addicted to coffee and I think it gave me like a good break from my coffee addiction. But it definitely was not my favorite. On Emily Weiss, I really liked this routine because it was probably the most chill kind of New York City vibe routine that I have. She said that she wakes up at seven, which was the latest that I had in this video. Good morning. I'm actually very thankful that it was a 7 a.m. day because I had such a bad nightmare last night. I woke up at 4, like covered in sweat. I was so scared. So it was actually kind of nice to get to sleep in a little bit longer today. And it's nice waking up with the sun being up all day. I feel like I don't usually wake up at 7, so it's nice. <laughs> Then says that she meditates for 10 minutes. I actually took the time to pray for 10 minutes, which I really appreciated. And I actually do pray in the morning, most mornings, and it really does set me on the right foot. And I know this says meditate, but I kind of think the two go hand in hand. She then jumps in the shower and gets ready. <laughs> which I feel like I never get ready right in the morning. She also mentioned a lot of Glossier products she uses to get ready. I do not have all the Glossier products and I don't like purchasing a lot of makeup. And so I didn't actually buy them, but I did get ready right in the morning. And it felt good to kind of start my day already having my makeup and my hair done since I do like to get ready every single morning. She said her beauty routine takes her five minutes. So I did a very simple five minute makeup routine. So I just showered. I'm about to do my makeup and my hair. I'm basically just going to set an alarm for five Five minutes or a timer for five minutes and then I'm gonna do my makeup it's gonna be super light and natural and then I'll probably just wear my hair natural and usually when I get ready it takes me 25 minutes to do my hair makeup but this she said she literally does a quick style of her hair five minute makeup and that's it 
This is my quick little five minute makeup look. I just did a little bit of foundation, blush, bronzer, mascara, a little bit of cream eyeshadow, a little eyebrow gel. This is actually a lot of makeup that I feel like I just did very quickly. And then I just left my hair natural. Threw on a little leather jacket from Blank NYC. My jumpsuit is from Rent the Runway and then my Rothy sneakers. She then mentioned that there is a specific breakfast spot she likes to go to and she said she walks there, but it's in Soho, which is not walking distance from me in Manhattan. I'm actually headed to a meeting with a PR company after this. So I'm gonna go stop by Smile to go and then go to my meeting. So I went ahead and took the subway down there. Said that she gets breakfast in an Americano, which I do like Americanos. And she said she gets a fruit cup or a raspberry scone, depending on the mood. So I went ahead and got a fruit cup and it was a nice little breakfast. It was really nice starting my morning with grabbing breakfast somewhere. I never really do that in the morning. I always eat my apartment since I work from home. But it was nice to kind of get out, be in the hustle and the bustle of everyone commuting in the morning. I really liked this routine. It really switched up my personal routine and Smile to Go was really cute too. If you're in New York City, I definitely recommend it. Now on to Jenny's morning routine. So hers was a lot different because she actually has kids and having kids is a lot different than not having kids in your morning routine. And so she mentioned a lot in the article, which I read from parade.com that her kids are a big part of her routine. Obviously I don't have any. She said she always wakes up at six cause that's usually when her kids wake her up. So we had another 6 a.m. wake up this morning. Morning guys, it's another 6 a.m. day. And she said the first thing she does is make coffee, which made me very happy. That's probably my favorite way to start my morning personally. She said that she drinks Stumpton Hairbender Coffee, which is a really good coffee brand, but it's really expensive, so I didn't buy it. So I just made normal French press coffee that is kind of just normal coffee, not iced, which I usually have. She then scrolls through her to-dos, her FYIs, and her emails. Which again, I'm not a huge fan of jumping right into this stuff in the morning, but I get when you're a CEO or a founder, you kind of have to, more so than me. I'm about to make a to-do list on my phone just of the stuff that I need to do today. So I'm gonna go ahead and type this out. I always have stuff to do every day, but it's never super high priority. But I totally get that that's something you have to do when you're running a business. She said that she prefers running it at around 7.15 and she usually runs with her husband because that's their time to kind of catch up and see each other since they're both really busy. Headed to the gym right now. It's around 7.15. She said, working out is a great way to network with current friends and meet new ones. It's also the perfect way to get my endorphins up to take on the day. She then showers and gets ready at eight. And she said by nine, she's out the door commuting. Currently headed out. I'm about to go to Juice Press, but I'm also gonna drop off my Rent the Runway stuff. So let's go. And while she's commuting, she takes a 15 minute walk and she listens to HBS After Hours and The Skim, her podcast. And I usually don't listen to podcasts in the morning. I kind of like to listen to them if I need something throughout the day to pet me up. But again, I don't really like starting my day with a ton of information, but I went ahead and listened and I liked both of them. They're both good podcasts to listen to. And she also said that on the way she stops for juice press and she gets a blue magic smoothie and she subs the banana for cauliflower or she'll get a coffee. So I went ahead and went to juice press, which is very expensive, but went ahead and did it. And it was okay. It definitely was not the best smoothie. I'm not a huge cauliflower fan, but you really can't taste it that much. So it wasn't that bad, but I liked this routine. It was definitely a very jam packed routine. It was kind of a lot of stuff in one day. And then we have Sundar Pichai for his routine. And I think it's funny cause he said that he's not a morning person, but he said he always wakes up around 6.30 or seven, which is just funny. Cause I feel that that is pretty early to wake up but I guess compared to other CEOs and founders who wake up at crazy hours, he's not considered a morning person. But I consider myself a morning person and I wake up then. Went ahead and woke up at 6.45 this morning. And then he said that he likes to read a book or a newspaper instead of scrolling through social media. So I really liked that one. About 6.45 right now and I haven't checked my phone or anything yet. I'm about to read my devotional this morning. This is New Morning Mercies by Paul David Tripp. I love starting my morning with this. I usually do read my Bible or this in the morning, so. <laughs> breakfast I like this one too and he said I'm vegetarian so I need to get my protein I always have an omelet in the morning with toast and I really like this I love eating eggs in the morning so this was a great breakfast it was very filling left me feeling very energized for the rest of my day and then yet again with the tea he's not a coffee person and he didn't specify what kind of tea so I just made green tea mm. 
and it was good. It's not the same as starting your day with coffee though, I'll say. I just, you tea people, I give you credit. You're a very special breed because I personally cannot do it. He ended with saying to focus on the big picture, map out long-term goals. Focusing on the big picture can help all workers gain perspective, improving how they prioritize and how they react throughout the day. So I went ahead and took that moment while I was drinking the tea to kind of write out my long-term goals. I know my long-term goals, but it's definitely different writing them down and kind of seeing them in the morning. And it really does set your mind on that kind of straight path for the rest of the day. And it was something that I really liked doing. So after a week of trying out different morning routines, I have to say that I liked a mix, which is bad. I don't think I'm supposed to mix them. I really liked Gary Vee's morning routine and I really liked Sundar Pichai's routine. I thought both of them were really great. I loved working out in the morning, which is why I like Gary Vee's. And I love the aspect of like calling a family member. But then at the same time, I really like waking up at 6.30, not quite six. And I like to read my Bible or like a book in the morning rather than reading the news. But those two are probably my favorites for the week, but all of them were honestly really great. And it was just fun doing different routines for once. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was different. I've really been trying to switch up my videos and just try new things. And so I hope you guys liked it. I hope that you learned a thing or two. Let me know down below if you know someone's morning routine that you personally like. I love reading these articles and I think they're just super interesting. So let me know. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye friends.